This is a part of the Nilgiri biosphere. This is a believed to be the second oldest mountain ranges in the world. This is the land of tigers, king cobras and elephants. I was thinking about the animal Sadhguru. They have their own families, their own social structure. Their life's as important to them as it is as our lives are important to us. What is it about us that makes us think we're so special? Is it just some <laughs> idea we can concoct? It, it is not our idea. Of course, human beings have grand ideas about themselves. Apart from that, what really sets us apart is just this. All animals are fulfilled the moment their survival process is taken care of. But the nature of a human being is such that only when survival process is taken care of, his life begins. So, the very privilege of being human is just this, that you are a natural seeker, you can't stop at any point. So there is something within you which doesn't like boundaries. There is something within you which is constantly longing to be boundless. Everything that you know as myself today is just an accumulation of impressions and physical body. What you accumulate can be yours, can never be you, isn't it? So what is you is yet to be introduced to you. <laughs> it is yet to come into experience, it is in an unconscious state. But now you are longing to know something beyond the physical. You are longing to know the very nature of your life. You're longing to know the very origin of your life. We cannot handle the boundless through the limitations of the physical. So your perception has to go beyond five senses. Only then the non-physical enters your life. If your experience of life transcends the limitations of the physicality, then we say you're spiritual. That's what it means to be on the spiritual path. If an ant crawls upon your hand, you can feel it. With so much blood flowing within you, can you feel it? See, right now this water, hmm? You don't experience this water as yourself. But uh, over seventy percent of your body is actually water. If you turn inward, beyond your sense perception, if you turn inward, then the very process of creation is happening within you because the very source of creation is functioning from within you. Your body did not get created from outside, it is happening from within. The manufacturer of this body is inside, not outside. So, the manufacturer is busy working, but you ignore him because you're too busy with what's happening around you. You ignored him so much, that it looks like he's absent <laughs> but if he was absent, would this happen? If you make your life energies phenomenally exuberant, you will see the sensory body can become as large as the existence itself. You will experience a whole existence as a part of yourself. That is when we say you are in yoga. The word yoga means everything has become one. From being just a piece of creation, you move to become the creator. If you live on the surface, you just live as a piece of creation. If you go to the core, you are the very creator himself. So this is a choice you have. Either you exist here just as a piece of creation, pushed and pulled by the forces of life, or you exist here as a creator, creating your own destiny, making your life happen. There is no universal salvation without individual salvation. There is no universal transformation without individual transformation. Death is the creation of people who live their lives in total unawareness. There is only life, life and life alone, moving from one dimension to another, another dimension to another. So if your experience of life right now transcends the limitations of the physical, you're already immortal. I'm immortal because I don't exist <laughs> I'm immortal because I'm not identified with my physical body.
I enjoy my body, I use my body, but I'm constantly aware that it is only an accumulation, any day I have to drop it. So this is immortality. In awareness, you're immortal. Only in unawareness, you are mortal. Sun came up in the morning. Did it choose on whom the sunlight should fall and whom it should not? So the way of the existence is such that it doesn't choose. But still, who benefits from the sunlight, who benefits from the breeze, all depends on that individual. Every human being is equally capable of knowing the source of his existence, of knowing the nature of his existence. So does it mean to say, I have to change my whole life? No. What you do with the outside is one thing. What you do with the inside is totally different. That's why people ask me, how much of yoga should I do? I say, twenty-four hours <laughs> You shouldn't do anything other than yoga. You should make your you know, running your family into yoga, going to your office into yoga, your business into yoga, your very process of breathing and every step that you take into yoga. You make every aspect of your life as a stepping stone for a higher possibility. That is the essence of Isha Yoga.